What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another daily vlog. Today is November 30th and I'm just coming off of a couple days of not kind of working on my fitness and my past self would definitely be kind of upset with myself and be really hard on myself but something I meditated on today uh, meditation huge huge tool if, if you haven't you know gotten to use it and gotten to practice it to really find out what the core problem is to find out what you're really thinking find out why you're feeling the way you're feeling today and or why you're feeling the way you've been feeling the past week or so so if you haven't you know tried that out I highly recommend you kind of put that into your practice in the mornings because today coming off of yesterday, coming or coming off the past couple of days of not working out. Today when I meditated, it was uh, it was deep. It was like just kind of the transformation of how my how I perceive myself and how how I talk to myself in my head. You know, we all talk to ourselves in our head. It may seem crazy if you haven't really noticed it, if you haven't observed your mind, if you haven't observed your thoughts. But I noticed today just the way I talk to myself now is completely different. The way I talk to myself is, is gentle, it's patient, it's kind, it's loving, and ultimately it's accepting of, of, of who I am and who I'm becoming. It's not so hard on myself as it was in the past. In the past, it was all about about being strict on myself, being hard, being aggressive, being um, angry, and being frustrated with with the person I am and the person I I was, and being upset with the actions I take because it's not who I want to become. But that's just not the way to move forward. To move forward and to really progress, you have to be patient with yourself along the way. And I never understood what Gary Vee always explains by enjoying the process, enjoying the whole process of life. And enjoying the process is being fully patient and accepting of yourself throughout the whole time. Because you can't enjoy the process of developing yourself and of becoming a better version of yourself. If the whole time you're being hard on yourself and you're being hard on yourself for making small human mistakes, small not even mistakes sometimes, just there are some times when a lot of things are just out of your control. Right now, COVID, for example, gyms being closed, uh, me not having the, the uh, same path towards becoming a personal trainer as the past of just going to the gyms and meeting people like that and then kind of building my client base like that. Today, it's a lot different. I have to navigate around being in this new online world and it's difficult and it's just it's really difficult and in the past I would I would be so hard on myself like you got to figure this out you got to figure this out like there's a way there's a way there's other people figuring it out so why aren't you figuring it out and imagine the constant stress that's put on to somebody who's constantly talking to themselves like that every morning when they wake up it's like why didn't you wake up early why didn't you wake up early when all these other people are waking up earlier than you to get their shit done? And that's how I used to talk to myself uh, for a long time, for a very long time. And these past couple of weeks, very surprisingly and weirdly, has been totally different. When I wake up, regardless if I, if I decide to not wake up as early, to put my alarm on snooze for an hour, or, or to wake up on time, regardless of any situation. You know, I'm waking up more patient and I'm like, okay, sometimes you have to listen to your body and, and by listening to your body, you're not forcing yourself into a situation where you're gonna be stressed and, where you're, and you're not putting yourself in that situation. You know, our bodies and our mind, we're in it with ourselves for the long run and 
the sooner you're more patient with yourself. So sorry, there's like a garbage thing going on, but the sooner you're more patient with yourself, the sooner you can start talking to yourself differently, the sooner you will enjoy the process and you will start to progress in a more natural and enjoyable way instead of you know putting that that pressure on yourself if you don't have any any other pressures be put, putting being putting on yourself besides yourself that's the that's the hardest thing because you live with yourself and you know if you don't live with your parents or if you don't have uh, an environment that, that puts stress on you then then you're lucky you know, then, then don't put all right back to what I was saying on this vlog uh, you know the gist of it of that last portion before the garbage truck kind of came over is the sooner you're more patient with yourself the sooner you learn to to talk to yourself in a more positive way the less stress you're definitely gonna feel throughout your life if, if you're lucky enough or if you're in the position where you don't have any external stressors on your life on yourself if you don't have the parents putting that stress on yourself if you don't have the environment putting stress on yourself if you don't have the education system, your family members, friends, anybody else putting any stress on yourself, don't be the one to do that. You ultimately have the control of how much stress you put on yourself. And it all depends on how you perceive and talk to yourself. This is what I've been learning these past couple of weeks and I've definitely been waking up differently. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that's it for today's vlog. Um, I'll keep you guys updated tomorrow on my progress with with um, the consulting accelerator program that I'm doing and with the next step on my personal training uh, business. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope this video helped you out in some way and I hope to see you around the channel. Thanks for watching these vlogs. Have a good day.